So I just want to show real quick what happens when you try to train a model with crappy data. And the data I'm talking about here is audio data. So in this case, my audio data is cut too short for the transcripts. And I didn't notice that. So I'm going to show you uh, my mistake and what the output of it sounds like. So I'm training Vietnamese right now. And I'm going to inference or generate a audio based on it using the Vietnamese model that I trained. So I wasted like about 10 hours training the model because um, the output of this is incomprehensible. So here's a sentence here and we only get a four second output. So let's take a listen real quick. So there you go. There was absolutely nothing in there. And the reason that's the case is, is let's take a listen. Um, here is the, this is supposed to be the correct transcript right here, or at least the whisper X transcript. And then here is the audio file. Which I don't think is matching um, at all because it probably is just saying the first couple of words. So there is an issue with what I did for the data uh, data set preparation in this case. And that comes from using an alignment model inside of Whisper X that um, I don't think is is good enough or isn't compatible with the way Whisper X does things or isn't uh, that let's just say it's just not good enough in this case. So what I ended up doing was just taking that alignment model out by doing no align. So in this case, since I don't need word level timestamps, I don't need that phony model. Um, I can do no align and it'll run without the alignment. So here we go. I've got the data preparing uh, once more again so that we can get the full audio sample um, in those sentences. And that'll be, um, I hope that'll make the training a little bit better. Uh, as you can also hear in the audio file that I had played, and there is some background effects in there. Now, that for me um, is intentional. I want to train without doing any UVR on the data just to see how it uh, performs on uh, messy and, and dirty data. But obviously, if the full audio sentence isn't there that pronounces or that shows the model how these words are supposed to be sound or sounding, then there's no way that it's going to be able to reproduce these in any coherent manner. So what's actually happening is, let's say uh, we go into our tokenizer here. So what ends up happening is we train the GPT-2 model to train these tokens based on that audio file that's cut short. And that audio file that's cut short doesn't have all of the characters um, in here. So it could be relating you know, wrong words to specific tokens or actually just having no audio for specific tokens. As we heard, we were only able to generate four second audio. And if we just keep generating, we actually only are able to ever generate four seconds of audio. And that's because the model never sees anything that's larger than four seconds. So that's uh, going to be what happens if your audio doesn't match up with your transcriptions and then you train on it. This is just an extreme example as my entire data set uh, sucks because of this. But uh, yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. My throat is a little bit raspy. It is that season, I guess. But um, that's going to be it for today's video. Once again, I'd like to thank the supporters of the channel for being members. And I will follow up with some more videos on this once I finish training the Vietnamese model. So with that, I'll see y'all later.